Hello, SC21 audience, and welcome to the SC uh, teacher outreach sessions. Uh, my name is Samar Asiri, and uh, I'm a computational scientist at the KAUST Extreme Computing Research Center. My research uh, interest is uh, math libraries, optimization and tuning on high performance computing uh, architectures. And uh, I uh, organize uh, many symposiums and workshops uh, to form uh, HPC communities uh, for FFT libraries and uh, high performance computing benchmarking. Uh, today, I'm going to give an overview uh, about HPC education in Saudi Arabia. And then I'll give uh, an example for teaching uh, beginners or high school students. I would like to start with uh, showing uh, the uh, loca uh, uh, location of Saudi Arabia on the map. It's uh, the green land uh, over here. And as you can see, it's too far from US and uh, fairly small, according to uh, the United States. Uh, according to the latest records of uh, the top 500 list, uh, Saudi Arabia has about uh, six uh, computers uh, among uh, the top 500 uh, list. Uh, we have the MAM7, which is a Cray uh, CS Storm. Uh, it's located at the Saudi Aramco uh, uh, Petroleum uh, Company uh, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we have uh, the Gawar one. It's an HPE Cray uh, XE. It's also at Aramco uh, Company. Uh, we have the Shaheen 2. Uh, it's a Cray XC40. Uh, and it's located at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. Uh, then Oneza 2, uh, it's a Cray uh, CS500 at uh, Saudi Aramco. Uh, then uh, Macman 3, uh, it's a Dell EMC uh, uh, at Aramco. And then uh, Macman uh, 2, uh, also a Dell EMC at Aramco. Uh, from the list, uh, one can guess uh, what type of uh, research that run on these uh, machines. Uh, mostly, uh, it's going to be uh, energy and petroleum related studies, since most of their machines are located at the Aramco company. Uh, but uh, at King Abdullah University, many uh, different sciences run on the Shaheen uh, tool, uh, such as climate, uh, seismic, combustion, uh, bioinformatics, uh, CFD, uh, material science, and many other uh, science fields. Um, actually, uh, KAUST or King Abdullah University is a graduate university, and it's uh, mainly for uh, res research. And uh, a big number of uh, the KAUST faculty use uh, Shaheen uh, too in their uh, research. Uh, and also their, some of their external co collaborators. Um, also Shaheen too is open for uh, in kingdom uh, faculty. Uh, regarding computer computing centers, uh, we have uh, the KAUST Supercomputer Laboratory and the Extreme uh, Computing Research Center, both at uh, KAUST. Then we have the Aramco Exploration and Petroleum Engineering Computer Center uh, at the Saudi Aramco in Dharan. And then we have the High Performance Computing Lab, Sanam, at uh, King Abdul Aziz City for Science and Technology. Uh, in Riyadh, uh, it's worth mentioning that Sanam uh, supercomputer uh, used to be among the uh, 
500, uh, the, the green 500 list uh, till 2015. And finally, we have the Aziz Center uh, for High Performance Computing at the King Abdul Aziz University in Jeddah. Uh, Aziz uh, supercomputer uh, was among the top 500 uh, till 2015. Uh, high performance conferences in Saudi Arabia. We have the Saudi Conference for High Performance Computing, HPCSA. Uh, it established in 2010 and uh, it continued until recently. Uh, uh, KAUST uh, participates in the SC uh, exhibition uh, with Abu uh, since uh, 2008 and uh, it continued till now, the particip participation every year. Uh, we have the International Conference Computer uh, on computer applications and information security, organized by uh, the Joff University since 2018. Uh, we have the National Conference of Saudi Computers Colleges. Uh, it was held uh, virtually last March by Taif University. And we have the International Conference on Computing and Information Technology organized by uh, University of Tabuk for the second time this November. Uh, it was organized uh, by Taiba University uh, the first time. So uh, there are, this, these are the uh, conferences that addresses uh, high, perform high performance computing, but there are many other uh, computer uh, science, uh, conferences that run in Saudi Arabia and other fields such as cybersecurity or machine, lear machine learning and other uh, fields. So in Saudi Arabia, we have about 29 public universities and 14 private universities. And the ones listed in this slide uh, are the ones that offer uh, computer science, uh, master degree or uh, master and PhD degrees. And we have here about 23 uh, of the public universities are offering these programs and five of the private universities. And I know that uh, uh, many of these universities uh, and others that are not listed uh, teach uh, parallel computing for undergrads. Uh, one more information that I would like to share uh, is that uh, graduate um, uh, women uh, who graduate from computer science in Saudi Arabia uh, uh, exceeds 50% of the total uh, graduates. Um, this is uh, actually from my observ um, personal ob observation, but I found some articles that supports my saying, like this one here. Okay, so uh, this article is uh, from the World Education News, and it's about education in Saudi Arabia, where you can find a picture of uh, the KAUST campus. Uh, I will point out or highlight uh, some of uh, the interesting information I found in this uh, article uh, before I show the percentage uh, of women in computer science. So here, uh, in higher education, the government has invested heavily in research and uh, the establishment of new, more specialized universities. It aims to boost uh, territory enrollment and accommodate uh, surging demand, uh, which is uh, driven 
by population growth and other factor. Uh, education is the largest sector in Saudi Arabia's government budget. Uh, the country spends more on education than most Arab countries. Um, according to a UNESCO statistics, Saudi Arabia is among uh, the 10 biggest sending countries in, uh, of international degree seeking uh, students worldwide. And scholarships in Saudi Arabia started in 2005. Yeah, here the general uh, the Saudi government generally seeks to steer students into study programs it deems critical for the development of uh, the country's economy such as engineering medicine or computer uh, science So here, uh, not only uh, that Saudi Arabia offers these students, uh, okay, not this one, here. Yeah, here is the percentage. Uh, today, a young Saudi woman participate in education at largely the same rate as men and are among the most educated women in the Muslim world. Uh, of note, 66% of uh, Saudi University graduates in natural sciences, mathematics, and statistics are women in 2018. So back to my slides. Or let me show the other article. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, let me show the other article here. Yeah, so it's about how more women can be encouraged uh, to take up STEM careers in the Middle East. So we can find here, yeah, here is the numbers. So women in college and university who study STEM uh, worldwide is about 18%, while women who make up STEM gradu graduates in Saudi Arabia are about 38%. Um, yeah, so uh, the percentage uh, uh, is not uh, uh, 50, uh, is less than 66% as in the previous uh, article, but it's still uh, uh, a, 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 a good number uh, or a big number according to the worldwide percentage of women uh, studying STEM. Um, and I, I, I hope this uh, percentage uh, continues and uh, evolves uh, through the years. Um, back to my slides. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, uh, regarding outreach initiatives uh, in this uh, regard, uh, we have uh, the giving initiative or uh, uh, 
the Arabic name of it is Ata Initiative. Ata, uh, or uh, in English it's giving. Uh, this uh, initiative aims at spreading digital knowledge among Arab communities around the world. Uh, it offers many live presentations every week by computer science graduates, either from uh, academia or industry and other. So it offers uh, all the material in Arabic language. It offers programs for high school students, college students, graduates, and also for a general audience and for experts in computer science and uh, uh, educated uh, 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 personals. Uh, there are many ways uh, uh, to participate uh, in the ATA initiative. Uh, either by joining a panel discussion or by giving a webinar or a hands-on tutorial or by answering questions to students through a guide page. Um, this initiative has been uh, very active uh, during the pandemic and uh, it is um, it helps in the uh, digital transformation of the country. Uh, it's also uh, very useful uh, for the new generations uh, moreover, it, it uh, takes advantage of the uh, uh, graduate students uh, of the scholarships who are coming from abroad, who uh, volunteers uh, in uh, teaching in these uh, 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 webinars and uh, courses. Um, another outreach uh, initiative that I could uh, uh, mention is the MISC initiative. Uh, it also offers many uh, uh, many programs uh, in computer science, but it, it's a bit more general than digital and computer science knowledge spreading. Uh, this is about the outreach. Now, uh, let's see the teaching example. Uh, so this is a list of pre-requests that uh, can uh, boost the teaching process, uh, such as fast typing, uh, serial coding uh, with any language, Unix, uh, Linux command line, uh, experience uh, and programming environment to check available compilers, and paths how uh, to SSH uh, and access machines through Putty and, or Mac terminal, downloading and installing software uh, with WGET, PIP, Homebrew, apt-get, uh, setting paths for software, uh, move, copy, and delete files, changing and listing directories, create uh, directories and files, uh, compiling and running executables on the terminal, or through script files, uh, file editing uh, with Emacs, uh, VI, and etc. Et the teaching example is about computing Pi. And as we know, Pi is uh, uh, the circumference of any circle uh, divided by its uh, diameter. Or in other words, it's the distance around uh, the circle divided by the distance across and through the center of the circle. And uh, this is uh, the Greek letter of the pi. The formula that uh, I'm going to use for computing pi is uh, this one uh, here. Uh, although there are many other formulas to, uh, to, uh, that gives uh, the approximate uh, value of the pi. But this is one of the one that I'm going to be using in the, the code examples. And a good way uh, to uh, deliver the idea of uh, parallel parallelization of a code uh, is to show uh, the difference between the serial and uh, the uh, parallel code, as I will uh, show in the next slides. Yeah, so here, here the pi equals uh, uh, the, uh, s uh, the sum of i equals 0 to tell n minus 1 of the term uh, 4 uh, divided uh, by i plus half divided by n square plus 1. And let's see uh, the next slide. So I'm going to use the Python 
for uh, uh, for ease uh, and I will show uh, also why uh, Python is uh, um, an easy uh, the e I mean an easy language to use for uh, uh, for for start uh, so here uh, we start with importing the math package of Python because uh, we want to uh, uh, compare the computed pi uh, with uh, the actual uh, value of pi from uh, the math package, math.py. And uh, here I will define uh, the formula uh, in the previous slide here. So if we, t if we define uh, h uh, equals 1 uh, divided by n, uh, and uh, like here, so h uh, so uh, here uh, we will define pi uh, n, h equals uh, 1 divided by n, and then uh, the sum equals 0, because we, we will keep uh, uh, with the uh, for loop, we will add to the, to the sum uh, the other terms. Uh, so for i uh, in range n, uh, we choose x, x equals X, uh, x equals uh, this term here, so it's, uh, uh, since uh, h equals 1 uh, divided by n, uh, then uh, x will equal h times uh, i plus the half. Then sum equals uh, sum uh, plus uh, the uh, sum term uh, in the previous slide. Uh, so we will replace uh, 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 the x and yeah square then this will return uh, the sum uh, times sum times the h okay so now we are done with defining the uh, formula or the function now we will choose the number of steps uh, which is uh, which will we, we chose here 10 for ease uh, now to compute uh, the pi, uh, it will equal uh, the function here pi uh, using the num steps 10. Uh, then we will uh, calculate the error, which is the absolute of uh, the computed pi minus uh, the math dot pi, uh, the actual uh, value. Now we will print uh, the approximate uh, pi uh, to 16. Uh, decimal digits and also the error. Uh, and then we uh, execute the code. Uh, uh, so executing the serial code uh, with Python is going to be uh, as follows. Uh, we will type Python, uh, the package that we are using, uh, then uh, the name of the uh, code, which is here pi.py. Uh, the output is uh, as follows here. Pi is approximately 3.14, and this, this is the error. Um, and uh, now we, we are done with the uh, serial code. Now let's see the parallel code. Uh, so uh, uh, to parallelize the code, we will use the message passing interface, uh, or MPI. Uh, and uh, we import it. Uh, uh, and, uh, Python as follows from MPI for pi uh, import MPI and uh, we will import the math package uh, such as before. Then we will define uh, the formula. Uh, it's going to be the same as the one before, but we have uh, just a little difference that uh, we have to specify the start and the uh, step size. For uh, one processor, uh, it's going to be the start will start from zero and the step size will be one. Okay. Now uh, here, uh, uh, these are the MPI uh, MPI routines. Uh, so here, uh, MPI uh, .com world uh, indicates uh, that the operation is done on the global communication uh, communicator, and uh, n process equals com dot get size. Uh, determine number of processes uh, within a uh, within a communication. 
and then uh, my rank uh, com dot get rank uh, uh, determines processor rank uh, within a communicate communicator. Uh, first of all, we will uh, 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 we uh, want uh, so uh, we will if we have uh, if we will compute our code on uh, two or three processors for, for instance, we want uh, processor zero to read the number of steps, uh, which is ten, such as before. Uh, then we will uh, broadcast uh, this number to the uh, other uh, processors. So num, num steps will equal com.bcast, uh, the num of steps uh, from uh, the rank zero or root uh, zero. Uh, my PI is uh, uh, the computation of pi in each processor. Uh, so, uh, it's uh, the function pi uh, with uh, the num a number of steps. Uh, the start will be um, my rank, uh, the number of rank itself, and the step size will be the number of processors. For instance, if we have three processors that we will compute on, the step size will be three. And I will show I'll show you now how uh, how th how this will work. Um, yeah. So if I'm uh, uh, if I'm computing this on three processors, for instance, I will have uh, rank zero and rank one and rank two. So the, the number of ranks or processors will uh, start from zero. Uh, so here, yeah, uh, the start uh, of uh, n will be from the the, uh, the number of rank itself zero. Like here, zero. It's going to be n equals zero till ten. The step is the number of processors, three. So uh, the terms that will be computed is zero, three, six, and nine. We'll start from zero to till 10 and uh, add uh, three uh, every time. When uh, I'm at rank one, uh, so I will start from one and the step size will be three. And then, uh, so yeah, we will start from one and keep uh, adding a three. So we will uh, compute the terms one, four, seven, and 10. Uh, at rank uh, 2, uh, we will start from 2 uh, to 10, and the step size is 3, so we will compute the terms 2, 5, and 8. So, uh, yeah, each uh, rank will compute uh, its term. Then we will, uh, to compute the uh, general pi, we will uh, uh, use uh, the routine com.reduce, uh, which will uh, collect uh, the my pi uh, computed in each uh, processor uh, and uh, use the operation in pi dot sum so it will sum uh, the my pi in, 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 to give the uh, total type uh, in root zero uh, here if my rank equals zero uh, we will uh, calculate the error which is the absolute of pi minus math dot pi uh, then we will print as before uh, I mean to execute an uh, MPI, uh, an MPI, MPI code for Python, we uh, do the following: MPI run minus uh, number of processors. Here it's three uh, or two. Uh, then uh, the Python that we are using uh, here we are using Python three minus m uh, the MPI for Py package. Then the name of the code which is uh, Py MPI dot Py here, and this is the resulting output. So um, the Python is going to be uh, easier uh, for uh, for start because here uh, there are uh, other things to set in a, a parallel code or an MPI code, but uh, I didn't have to do it here because I used uh, lowercase routines here like com.reduce and uh, com.bcast. So I, uh, for people who uh, write uh, MPI codes, uh, you can uh, uh, observe that I didn't use uh, MPI in it or MPI uh, finalized, but it still uh, uh, worked for me. Uh, in Python, if you when, we, when using lowercase routines, it takes care of many things. Um, 
Uh, and other another thing that makes Python easy that uh, you don't we don't have to compile then execute. We just we just execute uh, directly. Uh, like here, we just this is one line to uh, to output uh, the results. The same for the uh, previous um, uh, serial code. We uh, uh, execute with one line uh, py uh, Python uh, the and the name of the code. Okay, so um, advice uh, for teaching: uh, start with simple problems to help students observe the idea of uh, parallel programming. Uh, use uh, simple programming languages uh, such as Python. Uh, clarify that in actual practices, uh, it is not that easy, but also it is not hard. Uh, start with uh, motivation uh, to the problem uh, by displaying background, history, and breakthrough stories in, in, in science. Encourage students to try running MPI programs on uh, their own computer by suggesting online tutorial uh, links, uh, such as uh, uh, the one here. And I will uh, copy uh, all the links in my presentation in the description box. Uh, for Py uh, example, motivation, uh, the instructor can uh, explain how uh, Py was found in the measurements of the Egyptian pyramids structures uh, uh, 5,000 years ago. Clarify how Py is one of the building blocks of mathematics, science, and engineering. Indicate that it has uh, been uh, uh, represented by the Greek letters uh, Pi uh, since uh, mid-18th century. Mention that nobody knows uh, its exact value because no matter how many digits uh, you uh, calculate it to, the number never ends. Mention that pi is uh, an irrational number, therefore it cannot be expressed exactly as a ratio of any two integers and its decimal representation never ends and never repeats. Uh, talk to students about endeavors uh, made uh, throughout the history till recently using supercomputers uh, for calculating uh, its decimal digits every time uh, just to break the latest records of pi calculations. And uh, here we have an article for the latest records uh, of uh, breaking uh, pi calculation. Uh, further parallel aspects to explore with the students, uh, parallel input, uh, output operations, parallel algorithms, parallel libraries, uh, example FFTW, parallelizing with OpenMP for uh, shared memory hardware, parallelizing with other languages, explore more MPI communicators for advanced uh, usage. Uh, also, you can uh, find some uh, examples for beginners. beginners at my YouTube uh, channel, Parallel FFT Tutorials, where I uh, upload um, videos about setting uh, Python and installing software and uh, basic uh, coding uh, for FFTW uh, uh, codes. And with this, um, I thank you for your attention and hope it has been uh, useful. And goodbye.